Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, it's Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we give you hot topics. Okay, and right now we're going to be talking about, again, Marlo and her shadiness. Yes, Marlo is shady tonight. Okay, she's talking about candy, being a small brat. She said candy is just too sensitive. Okay, and she went from shit to sugar when she got on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Girl, she ain't stopping with candy. She going on over there. To uh saying she missed Cynthia, Cynthia, and she wished Cynthia throw her a party along with Nene, and uh, along with um, uh, it was Sheree, I guess. Uh, but Sheree's on the show, so I don't know where she was going with that. But she was wanting her flowers to be given to her, and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Then she calling um, uh, Kenya the Shade Assassin, but she's the Shade Assassin when she's Summer Moore. Kenya is not there. Some or more, so alter ego. She comes out there and be the villain. She says, uh, uh, Kenya's very calculated. She's methodical. <laughs> but she likes Kenya, okay? So, because Kenya's a match. Really, she is. Okay? Um, Marla says she likes being a leader. She can lead whenever she needs to. Uh, but she did say she missed Nene. She did say she missed Cynthia. And she did say she missed Portia. And she talked about them, you know, just a little bit. But she said Portia will be back when her man is, uh, his money dries up. <laughs> so do Marlo know something we don't know about father time over there? So she's saying he ain't got no real money. When the money dry up. Portia gone. I said, ain't that the same thing? Dennis said something similar to that? So, oh, okay. I mean, a Portia, they got you looking like a gold digger, girl. Are you a gold digger? I know you was over there trying to remove a tattoo, dumbass. I don't know why you put it on you in the first place. But you always doing something that you think is right at the time instead of asking people, should I do this? Should I not? You over there crying like a baby trying to take the tattoo off. Yeah. Better just let it stay there and you die with it, okay? Because it don't seem like you're going to be able to unless they put you on an uh, anesthesia. Unless they put you to sleep, that tattoo is not going to be worked on, okay? That's how you was hollering like a baby over there. And I still got to do that particular video tonight. Don't know if I get to it or not. Because the sister is yawning right about now. I just had to come back and do this uh, video because Marlo was saying it's all the ass. Ooh, child. She was getting into every last one of them. She didn't get too much into Cynthia because Cynthia, Cynthia was nothing to get into anyway. But she was just, you know, straddling the fence all the time, trying to play the safe way out. And technically, everybody got tired of Cynthia playing that role. So that's why she's gone. Bye-bye. Don't see her anymore. But it was very interesting that she said Portia will be back. I'm like, is Candy and Kenya going to be gone somewhere? <laughs> is, are they going to be gone somewhere to bring Portia back? Because Kenya is going to get all up in that ass. And I know, Marlo, you are going to be somewhere around there, too. Because Kenya caught you as con, even though she, she really should have did that. She hit way below the bill on that one, okay? She was just uh, nodding and touching your toes, honey. And bunions, too, I guess. But, oh, yes, honey. Uh, Kenya and her three-piece band coming up there, destroying your wig party. <laughs> she was just trying to bring a little ambiance to your get-together, your event you had with selling them wigs. 
How are those weeks selling, uh, Marlo? How are they selling, girl? Why you sitting up there talking about candy is spoiled? Calling candy or spoiled brat? You don't believe me? Let's take a listen. That, 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 the argument. I was. She was like, "Don't talk to me." I'm like, "Girl, shut the hell up, you spoiled fucking brat! I can talk to you. I'm wrong. I can curse you out. What the fuck are you?" So uh, with candy, it's just, baby, I love you to death. You're a spoiled ass brat. And somebody got to tell your ass off. And God said, Marlo, I need you to tell me. So I'm not worried about it. I don't care about the followers. I don't care about the status. I care about at the end of the day when she goes in the room and wants to do her. Say, Marlo is my authentic real bitch. That's all that matters to me. That's why we love now, they were just tripping, talking about, oh, that's why we love you. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't love Marlo for getting into people's asses. Okay, not really. Because sometimes she don't do it as, as appropriate as she should. Just like she out here calling Candace for a brat. Woo, and I guess they did get an argument. I have yet to see that argument because even when the last episode, I think we watched where Candy went and, um, she went over there to where Marlo and Sheree was having a spa day, and they were in this heated um, sauna type situation. And Candy didn't even get out of her clothes. She's like, I ain't here for the bullshit. I ain't here for the bullshit. Now, what y'all got to say? So they were telling Candy that she was just not there for them, not there for them at all. And I'm like, well, Sheree, she didn't necessarily have to be there with you. You're dating someone that's in jail, that's serving time for a felony offense, baby girl. Are you crazy? Anybody could see and say a, a person off the street, we give them your scenario, they look at you like you're crazy. So why are you, why are you doing this to yourself, baby? Leave that crackpot in jail, okay? Leave his thieving ass in jail, and you fly out of there and find you someone else, okay? So uh, I don't know what you wanted her to do, uh, Sheree. Uh, and then you could have called Candy your darn self. I mean, both of y'all are busy. Candy probably boy, so. <clears throat> excuse me, it's a little bit more busier than you because we still haven't gotten your athletic wear. Where are your she by charade designers? Okay, and even Marlo shades you on that shit. She said, you're supposed to be doing this, that, and the third. You don't have how many seasons to be working on that um, dream of yours for some talent, for some some um uh, apparel, something to show us you've been working on She by Charade. Because right now, the only thing we're still seeing is the sign. We have nothing. We have no athletic joggers. And even Marlo said she would buy some from you, girl. Hell, I think I would, too, if they come in a 2S. Girl, do they come in a 2S? But right now, you ain't got shit out there. You ain't got nothing. Okay, the show has taped and wrapped up, and now we're looking at what y'all take. Uh, sometime back, I guess, in the fall of last year, we're watching everything, and we don't see nothing. We don't see nothing. You had a mat with she by Sheree and a water bottle, but then you wanted those back. Can you thought she could take that from you? Like, you had, this was a sample, so she can go and brag on her friend. But you, you, nah, you were born that shit back. You just had one of each. <laughs> Sheree said your ass down somewhere, okay? And then Marlo got on, um, well, she didn't get on uh, Portia, like Portia was there, but the man David had asked her about who does she miss that's not on the show anymore. And of course, she said, Portia. <laughs> she said, Portia gonna be back, honey. Portia's gonna be back because once that man's money dry up, she gone. <laughs> I like, say it ain't so, say it ain't so, girl, say it ain't so. Of they got you right here looking like a gold digger. Well, you know, we couldn't keep Dennis. You couldn't keep Dennis on, on the stream because he wasn't giving you nothing until you signed that prenup agreement. And now, look at, look at, look at who comes clicking. You back in the same scenario. Do you not think that Simon's going to ask you to do the same thing that Dennis asked you to do? Do you think something's different with this scenario? Well, hell, Marlo don't think so because she already said your ass will be back. <laughs> and you will be fending for yourself. Then she was talking about Kenya. Talking about Kenya calling her ex-con. And she had this, though. I, I, I can agree with her. She had some uh, uh, tumultuous time growing up, leaving or escaping her home environment at 10 and being thrown into foster care uh, because her mother couldn't do no better. 
but uh it is funny how life turns uh turns out isn't it oh my god she was doing all illegal kind of stuff and look she's on the same platform with me. <laughs> but y'all I, I couldn't do them but laugh myself i said damn all right she did all the bad things in her past and now she up with some uh reputable women some talented women some business mind uh minded women uh like candy She's up there on y'all doorstep with y'all. So what can y'all say? Y'all can call her ass con. Y'all can call her, um, what do you call her, loud mouth, liar, or whatever. But guess what? Milo is right there with y'all. She may not be making the same money y'all making, but give it enough time. <laughs> give her at least three years doing this show full time. And she's going to probably be just as frugal as you are, Candid. She might be even saving a little bit more. Because you know she ain't getting rid of her sugar daddies. <laughs> if she got one or not. Because, Candy, you alluded to her that she was an escort. You even said it out your mouth. She's an escort. But I'm like, God damn, she's a high price hole. <laughs> she's a high price hole. Because she's still on the same platform that y'all are on. Now, make that make sense. Man, I should have did this on my Make It Make Sense channel. Y'all go on over there and make sure y'all watch those videos I'm putting out on that side of my show, too. Okay? But y'all, please, I ain't got no more for this. I just had to come back because she had called Can a spoiled-ass brat. And I'm like, no, wait a minute. Now, Can ain't spoiled. She probably even had a little dog when she was in high school, along with trying to start a girl group. So, I, mm -mm. now, I have, to, I have to say, no, no, no. Flag on play, flag on play, play. Mama Joyce ain't the type that she gonna let somebody sit around and, and do anything. That's, that don't look like Mama Joyce. Don't sound like Mama Joyce. So I am sure if she did not have a job outside of the house and outside of school, she was working towards something that Mama Joyce felt she was going to achieve one day, which was being in a girl group, being a maybe solo artist, just depending on the situation, and being in the music industry. So you never know. Anybody working hard, probably Mama Joyce. Mama Joyce probably worked two jobs and still trying to uh, run them kids around to different auditions and meeting with whatever uh, executives that wanted to meet with them for starting their girl group escape so yeah no i don't know i have to disagree marlo i don't believe candy uh was uh being selfish or being spoiled or any type of that uh, uh situation i really don't believe that is the case i do believe she's a hard worker and she does help her mom out a lot. Maybe she was just responsible for keeping the house clean while she go to school and try to work on her music career and just that and the third because Mama Joyce, you know, really felt like all of them had something to give to the music industry. So the girl group was finally formed and she made money. Okay? So no, I don't think Mama Joyce raised no sorry ass kids. No. No, no, no. So we have to get that to Mama Joyce and we have to get that to Candy. But that's all I got of this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more just uh definitely subscribe to the channel watch my videos like them like them like them and share them out okay with your friends or your foes don't matter at least they can get a little chuckle here and there because that's what we're here to do make you laugh nothing more nothing less i'll see y'all next video Bye bye